Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, and enemies, welcome to Radical Red, a Pokemon ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red that is insanely difficult and also includes things up until Generation 8. Now, last time, for those of you who weren't here, it was quite the stream. We fought Koga, we prepared a little bit for Koga, we fought Koga, and what a story Koga was. We lost two Pokemon in the Koga fight. I don't want to even look at the box, dude. I don't even want to look at the box. We lost Krona, and we lost Brady. Now, both of these were our mistake, definitely. Because what I wanted to do was I wanted to mirror coat a Dark Pulse to kill a Greninja. Or, or rather, I mirror coated a Surf to try to kill a Greninja. Now, obviously, because it was a Battle Bond Greninja and not a Protean Greninja, it wasn't going to change off of being a Dark type which I thought it was going to. Now, Mirror Coat did not work. And that put us into a very, very bad situation uh, where we had to basically sack Pokemon. And we were in a terrible spot until our man, Kenny, hit the field. And Kenny's right here. Not for the reasons you may think. Kenny did not die in the Koga fight. In fact, Kenny clutched the Koga fight out for us so hard. In arguably the most hype moment of the entire series. So Kenny clutched us Koga. Prevented us from losing any more Pokemon than we needed to. We got ourselves a couple of encounters as well. We got ourselves this Zapdos. We got ourselves this Manectric. Both of which I'm very, very happy with. Absolutely very happy with. But unfortunately, as we were minding our own business, surfing around south of Fuchsia, we ran into a trainer with a Gyarados. And we were leading Kenny, and for some reason, I thought it was okay to just stay in and click Leech Seed. Now, that Gyarados went for a Hurricane, and it one-shot us. It was the most anticlimactic death for such a climactic character in the entirety of this Radical Red series. So I have to say, just to start off the episode, again, I'm sorry, Kenny. We said our condolences last episode, but... Boys, it is time to move on. We have an entire box of Pokemon. Look at how many dang dudes we got. We got so many Pokemon. We got a uh, Mega Sceptile. We got a Zapdos. We got an Obstagoon, an Eternal Floet, a uh, Feline Power Alolan Persian. We got ourselves a, a Belly Drum Quick Aqua Jet Azumarill. We got ourselves a Mock Punching Breloom, a Ficious Red and Seeking, a Blade Master Potential Levani. There are so many things. I didn't even mention Blazing Soul Typhlosion. Hello! Things we have to do today. Make some money. We're really broke. We're really, really broke right now. Uh, we also... We have to get some encounters in Seafoam Island. I don't think anything that crazy happens in the Seafoam Islands, but what I'm gonna do to start off the episode is just a very, very quick... Uh, we lost our Frisk Pokemon too, man. Gothitelle was our Frisk Pokemon. That was gonna actually be, like, super easy money. We're gonna steal some Lucky Eggs... We're not necessarily going for maxing IVs out on any Pokemon. It's mostly just because I need some money for some repels. Uh, and that's the main reason that I'd like to do this. It's just so we can get some max repels. It's so we don't have to, like, struggle for money like we have been the last little bit. It's not because I want to perfectly IV something, although that would be very, very nice. How do we feel about Seafoam as a place? I'm pretty sure Seafoam's not very dangerous. I think that, I don't think there's any boss battles in Seafoam. Obviously, Price is stationed right outside of Seafoam. Uh, and I don't feel like fighting Price necessarily. Mostly because I don't want to lose a Pokemon, you know? Like, why go out of our way to fight trainers that we could lose Pokemon to? That's my logic for the Gym Leader rematches. That's my logic for the Mudkip Boy. That's my logic for the guy in the Power Plant. It's unnecessary risk. And we do not deal with risk quite fondly. Have I looked toward Blaine? I have not looked at Blaine's team just yet. Uh, I'm actually more worried about May because we have to fight May first. We, we take boss battles. We really take them one at a time. Got ourselves a little bit of spending money. Uh, let's... I know I just sold some stuff. I do want to get some more repels, however. Just enough to make sure we make it through Seafoam Island because I want to make sure that we can check the raid den before anything because I've heard... A little birdie has told me, by little birdie I mean most of the people in chat, have told me that there's a Dracovish in the raid den for Seafoam Islands. Uh, I need to... 
If I had gotten into an encounter in that one step, I would have been so angry. I don't think there's any trainers in here. If there is, we are woefully unprepared. Uh, but I do think... Oh, wait, we need strength. Oops, guys. Oops, I did it again. Whoops. That's fine. We got to get the warden's house. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Hello, Mr. Man. I did not give you your teeth. Can you give me strength? Thank you. Oh, boys. Look at how quick that was. Look at how our acquisition of strength into the rare candy, into the ability to traverse back to the Seafoam Islands. It's all about that speed up button, boys. This is 44 hours and 5 minutes with the speed up button. By the way, this isn't in game time. In game time. No, no, no. Do not overwrite the save file. In game time is 279 hours. It's a weather setter. No, I can't. Obama Snow sucks. Mega Obama Snow got buffed. All right, let's do a little research, shall we? I'm going to do a little research. Mega Obama Snow. Okay. What? Obama Snow. Okay. Mega Obama Snow. Wait. Slush Rush? Oh, wait. What? Mega Obama Snow gets Slush Rush? So it sets the hail as regular Obama Snow and then doubles its speed as Mega Obama Snow. That's crazy for one thing. For one thing, that's absolutely bonkers. For another thing, it only has base 45 speed. I think we can do better, chat. I think we can do better. So BSO7, I cannot catch all of the raids. Uh, I can choose between a random grass encounter or a raid den. So we can check what's in the raid den first. And then if we don't like what's in the raid den, like we don't like what's in the raid den now, we can either opt to one, wait for it to reset or two, get a random encounter from the cave. Um, I think I'm just going to meander through the cave attempting to get to either Keldeo or Articuno because those are Pokemon that I've heard are in Seafoam Island. And I'm excited. Articuno, I know you're, I, I see your feet. Oh, I see your feet, Articuno. How many times I've done the seafoam puzzle? You have any idea who I am? Beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. How many times have I done that puzzle? You want to know? A whole bunch of lot. Okay, well, my boy Articuno. Now, because, for those of you wondering, I know you're going to ask. I know you're going to ask, so I'm just going to get it out of the way right now. Articuno counts as a static encounter. What does that mean? It is entirely separate from the encounters we get on the routes. So if a legendary Pokemon has their beautifulness sprite on the screen and we can talk to it like an NPC, that means it's static. So we can catch it. Along with that, we can catch the Articuno. We can catch the Keldeo, assuming it's here and it's static. And then we can also catch a third Pokemon that is the regular Seafoam Islands encounter, which could have been that Obama Snow in the Raid Den, or it can be a random Pokemon in the cave. So that being said... Am I going to reset for shiny? Yeah, who do I look like? A-Drive? Do I look like A-Drive? Do I look like a shiny hunter? These shinies come to me. I don't... I don't look for them. I don't do that. All right. Articuno. How are you doing today? Nice to meet you. You look pretty cool. You look pretty cool, bro. Uh, I am going to return. If it just has Ice Beam, more like chilling hardcore. Return's probably going to do, I would say, half to it probably have we may need to be careful because yeah if it crit that could have been a bad situation now i am gonna go into king arthur and i am going to shadow sneak i think this won't kill let's do 41 no this will probably do of that yellow probably 60 percent of that yellow probably 60 percent what did i say that's, that's math in my brain. I see damage calcs in my sleep. <laughs> oh, man. Articuno, are you really going to be this way? Now we can just go into Napperton. And because you're going to wake up. I knew you are going to wake up. Now we can click yawn. And now we basically just sit here and chuck balls at the Articuno. So Articuno is basically guaranteed. If Articuno is basically guaranteed. The second ball... Do I struggle with legendary Pokemon? No. Did a Verizion close combat my Dahi two streams ago and kill it? Maybe. Is chat going to name this Articuno? John, welcome. Burkano, welcome. Who's going to name this Articuno? It's up in the air. 
Jimmy Frosto. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Chilo. Dave. No, we already had a Dave. We had a Dave. Dante. Frozone. I like it. I like the reference. All right. All right. All right. You know what? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. John, you got me. Honey, where's my super suit? Heck, I'm not going to do the rest. I'm just not going to do the rest before my parents wonder what I'm yelling about. Oh, there's Keldeo. The city's in danger. My evening's in danger. <laughs> I think that is one of the most iconic scenes of Pixar animation history, honestly. Yes. Are we going to fight Keldeo? Where is Keldeo? How do I get to you? Oh, how do I get to Keldeo? We didn't get an encounter south of Pallet Town. I want you guys to remember that. We actually didn't get one on, I believe that's Route 21, I think. Make sure I save because there's a way to get soft locked on water. Okay, good, good to know. Thank you. If the run ended like that, I would have lost my absolute marbles. Oh, this has to be, this has to be Keldeo, right? Nice. Okay. So we don't exactly have the best party for it. Chance is pretty good. So if it has Secret Sword, we're good. I think Snorlax has a Choppleberry as well. So I'm actually content just to lead with Snorlax. Remember, guys, static. Static encounter. Static encounter. Which means we can catch it. ka -woo. Even if it, like, close combats us, we do, in fact, have the Choppleberry. And it Hydro Pumps us. And we're Snorlax, and we're thick, and we got 252 HP EVs. And we yawned. And I'm actually just going to go for a nice little return. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh no, 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 that's not good. I don't like that. I don't want him to do that. It's a plus one now. Let's take a moment to think about this. And I'm gonna mega evolve and click drain punch. And that shouldn't kill. It should do enough damage. It's gonna, oh, it woke up. Oh no, it's a plus two. Oh, it's a plus two. Oh, God. We may not be able to catch it. Oh, that hardly did anything. Um, what is... Okay, let's look up Keldeo's... I should have been more careful. I should have been more careful. Keldeo has what looks like Work Up, Quick Guard, Hydra Pump, and Swords Dance, I think. Soft reset for no casualties. No, that's not how we do this. That's not how we do things in a Nuzlocke. There's no such thing as soft resetting because of casualties. No, no. Oh, no, it might be uh, It might be Gen 7 movesets then. Because Quick Guard is not a part of their Gen 8 moveset. This is a big difference because it's either... Oh, God. This thing might have close combat. Hydro Pump and close combat do a lot of bad things to us. A plus two close combat hurts a lot. Hurts everybody a lot. Hydro Pump kills pretty much everything as well. I... We're in a bad spot here, guys. We're in such a bad spot. Hold on. We have a way out without losing Pokemon. We do. We have a way out without losing a Pokemon. Can you guys guess what it is? Oh, wait. We may have to Master Ball this Keldeo. In order for it not to kill anything on our team. Because I think... A Hydro Pump or a Close Combat will kill anything on our team. Aegislash is going to die from a plus two Hydro Pump from a Keldeo if I switch into Aegislash. And I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it because I know it has Hydro Pump at least. How badly do I... I cannot in good conscience let anybody go down to this Keldeo. Keldeo is an absolutely fine Pokemon to use the Master Ball on as well. I have nothing against that. I think it was probably the smartest play, especially if we weren't able to escape. If we tried to run and we weren't able to run, we could have lost more than one Pokemon. But you know what? Keldeo is a very, very good Pokemon. Pegasus! <laughs> if you pronounce it like that, it's actually really funny. Shall we maneuver on out of the Seafoam Islands? This is how we get out. I knew that. 
Guys, I knew that. Come on. What do I look like? An amateur? Don't answer. Don't answer it. Hi there. Oh, you want to fight me? Oh, that's too bad. I want to leave you. Oh my god, she moved the camera to get to us. Wow, that did a lot of damage. That did even more damage. hey -o. A triple kill with Dark Pulse. We did not get the random island encounter. John, I'm going to call you a cab. We're going to get you out of here. Mega Aggron or Mega Steelix? Hello. No, no, no. Sorry. I, you just looked interesting. Oh, it was Jasmine. Oh, that's Jasmine, isn't it? We were about to fight Jasmine, and I did not realize. Bye. Dream Balls, White Herbs, and Lumberries. What a weird place to put a shop. Jasmine, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do this right now. As much as I love you, Jasmine, it's just not in the cards for us. Aegislash! Hello? Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. You call yourself a scientist? I, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed of you. No, look at me when I'm talking to you. I'm ashamed of you. What, what, what is this? Is this a, what is this? A pipe? An amber pipe? Are you sm- Look at me. Are you on marijuana, sir? It's not 1997 anymore, mister. Eevee has more than three evolutions. Get it together. Sick moves, but it's going to cost $10,000. Oh my, oh, oh my, oh my god, what? What? I can get Keldeo Resolute. Is it? We should look at them. I'm going to look at them. Keldeo, caught in a Master Ball. D minus special attack. S tier speed, though. It didn't even have close combat. Uh, it was Gen 6. It was based on Gen 6 moveset. We didn't have to use our Master Ball. Articuno, tell me you're better. S plus. S, S special defense. S special attack. SHP. Alright. Frozone with freeze dry. We got uh, we got some, some grinding to do. A little bit of money would always help. Let's heal. We didn't heal yet since we've gotten here where I don't want to get close to the mansion. I'm not going to get close to the mansion. Route 21. I am going to get an encounter in the grass instead. Okay, so this is where I want to get the encounter. This is our Route 21 encounter. Granted, we can still get a Route 21 encounter. We can get a regular Seafoam Islands encounter. We can get a Cinnabar Mansion encounter. And we can get a Cinnabar Island encounter. Wow, look at, look at how I did with that with my fingers. Isn't that... Yeah, I really didn't want the Obama Snow in the Den. I mean, Mega Obama Snow is, like, interesting, especially considering, you know... So, it's a weather setter. We don't have any weather setters, but I just feel like we can get something better. Uh, what are we gonna get, boys? Oh, what are we gonna get? Oh, we... <laughs> That's dupes, baby. We got you already, Arya Dose. We've got... I can't run. That's a dupes. That's dupes. It's okay. We don't need to get the Arya Dose, because instead, we're gonna get... Wait a minute. Didn't I have a Kingler? Oh, that was, that was attempt number three. We can get a Mega Kingler if we so choose. I know we're 19 levels above it. I know. But it's a Kingler. But it's a Kingler. It's going to live this. If my Pokemon brain's correct. <laughs> I told you. See? Not a problem, guys. You don't believe me. Honestly, like, I'm the best player to ever live. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's okay. I knew he was going to live. It's fine. It's fine. It was up here the entire time. Kingler. Oh, our Kingler's name was Queenler last time. Me psych. I'm gonna name him Dollar Bills. Dollar Bills. Hello. Are you gonna give me an item? No, you're not. Basculin. Oh, dear goodness. I should probably not stay in. Final Gambit! N wait, 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 okay. How are you just gonna sacrifice yourself like that? <laughs> oh my god, Delmize. Okay, Delmize can't do anything. Delmize can't do anything, guys. It's okay. As long as Barbara's here, Delmize can't do anything. Dollar Bills. Dollar Dollar Bills. Docile Nature. Pretty 
E plus attack. Oh, God, this is terrible. We should make a graveyard for the MVPs in the PC. We absolutely should. That's a great idea. Should we do it right now? But boys, boys, first things first. Do we wait for a Dracovish in Seafoam Island's raid den? Or alternatively, do we just run around and get whatever we want? Because the next thing we do is going to be to prepare for May. And then after that, Blaine. A Dracovish... I feel like would help, but to me, it's not its not guaranteed we get Mr. Fish. Wait a minute, I think I can just, well, no, that's rigging it then, isn't it? I was gonna say, if I, um, I'm already saying Dracovish. If I change the day, then the den sets to something else. Is it rigging the Nuzlocke to change it to something that we want more instead of legitimately waiting for it? You know what I'm saying? That's rigging, right? That's a, that's a moral gray area. I think it's kind of rigging too. I think if it naturally changes, I think that's fine. I think that abides by our rules. I'm conferring with the council right now. You guys are the council. Welcome. Welcome if you're not subscribed and hit the notification bell already, please do, because you have a say in what we do here at FTV. Thank you. It feels like cheating. We could put it off. I feel like it's morally correct to wait and check back every once in a while. That's what, to me feels correct. Hard agree. I think resetting it is lame. We can check the dex nav. I think we may be overstaying the val- oh, Look at these. Look. Ugh. Look at these terrible encounters here. Look at this. Oh my god, they're so ugly. Oh my god, they're all ugly. There's a chance. I mean, this is this thing's almost this thing's as busted as Dracovish. That's as busted as Dracovish. I mean, that's not a guarantee, though. All right, chat, chat. Here's what we're going to do here. Here's what we're going to do. Ready? You ready for it? Can I check the den? I will. I'll check the den now because it may. Okay, here's what we'll do. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, you know, you're kind of right. You're kind of right. Y'all are kind of right. Also, oh, y'all are beautiful. Thank you for being such great participants in my chat. I, I understand the sentiment of it being cheap to wait for a mod. How about if it has changed... If it has changed right now to a Dracovish, we'll get it. If not, we'll go back to the floor with Galarian Darmanitan and lots of dupes, and we'll try to get a Galarian Darmanitan. Now, boys, has this den reset? We didn't even really wait for it. It fell in our lap. That's a sign. That's a sign, everyone. That's not, that's, that's not waiting for it. That's not waiting for it. That's it. That's it. That's, it, it has decided. The game has bequeathed it upon us. We're getting a Dracovish. Okay, so, that being said, it's not a guaranteed capture. This isn't us checking back a billion times. This is us going through naturally and coming back to the den that we only waited about half an hour to get. That is a Dracovish. That is best case scenario for all parties. And and guess what, guys? The thumbnail had Keldeo, Articuno, and Dracovish in it. It was all preemptive. This is scripted. This is this is scripted. Alright, well we're Dynamaxed. I'm gonna Mega Evolve. Oh wait, can we not Mega Evolve and Dynamax? Wait a minute. Right, Dark Pulse. Plasma Fist did a lot. Max Lightning. What did that what just happened? What what kind of Max Lightning? What? No. Max Lightning? What? Uh, I mean, we live... Can we use a... We can use potions in this. I'm gonna do that. Ice Punch. Max Darkness. That's fine. Remember, we have to do this without losing any Pokemon. Our special defense fell. That's okay, because it's a Dracovish. For some reason, Electivire special defense fell. Is there a max number of turns? We should be able to kill it before that this should this could kill Ooh, yes okay boys this is what we're here for a netball Dracovish you landed in our lap yes yes oh 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 my god oh the water mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I feel flush with energy. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Who said? Oh, I'd like it to be stylized, okay? All right. Calm down. Calm down. We have an entire box of live Pokemon. Let's check him out. But he's in box two. Before we do this, though, this is his world we're living in, Mr. Fish. Brave nature. Ho! 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 S attack. S speed. S HP. S defense. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, boys? Boys. If you're not subscribed, you already know. You already know.